And welcome back to some more EU4. West West Brazil loses minus 25 Liberty Desire. The winds of liberty blow strong in West West Brazil. The locally elected assembly have decided to elect their own governor from now on. Fortunately, this seems to have dampened their desire for liberty, at least for the moment. Great. I'm glad it went down. I noticed, actually, West West Brazil, part of the relations problem is neighboring heretic religion. Should we go over there? Or not? Maybe we can't. We'll just go over here. Uh, and I think it's from the Galapagos Islands. So let's go ahead and see if we can sell them. The Galapagos. They'll pay a hefty sum for the Galapagos, actually. 159. They can't have provinces more than two provinces away from... But it's right there. It's not even... It's... Ah. Whatever. Whatever. Ah, good, Gold Coast. Sounds good. Let's go to Dalol. Let's go over here. Dal Dalol. Dalol. Yep. Build that thing. Alright. Can we just eat these guys? Bonaman? Really easy to kill them. Turpiniquium is a little bit harder. Long goes nice and easy, nice and quick. Bonhamen won't even help them. <laughs> what was that? 14th of May, 15th of May. Oh yeah, we got there. All right, stay in the Longo. Beat them down. Their their ally abandoned them, and I'm okay with this. I think that's probably for the best. And that's just a real quick fill in the gap. You know, why not sort of thing. We're finishing up this little bit over here. Reduce that autonomy as well over time. Good stuff. Wheezy Abda, all nice and solid with Canabda. Maybe fill in the little gaps up here just to stop Mexico before I polish off my stuff. Actually, I need to fill in the gap right here. I need to do Lenape. Because that'll actually let him get inside, and I don't, I don't want that to happen. So, fill in little gap in Lenape. Besides, it's got the local trade power bonus we could use. Well, they could use whatever. Let's see. I'm not seeing a negative eleven is seeing a seen. But yeah, my army's there, so. Dirt, Pheasant, Jufra, Kef. Over here. Jufra, Cert, Pheasant. Yeah. Why don't we knock it all down? Get rid of the autonomy. Kayor, Benguela, I think they both have an army on there. Alright. That'll just make things easier for everybody. Ultimately. A little bit of time and we'll have Luongo defeated. In that province, five base tax Ibadi. Don't see that very often. It has some nice buildings in there too. It'll be good to have this whole thing taken care of. Hello, Anam. I know you want to help, but I get to loot the province this time. River flows between lots of places. Alright. What about Brittany? Fungenhausa. Right, right. I'd have to deal with this nonsense. Plus the Diplo costs. You know, they're not always the best. But this will be Diplo cost, admin cost. But we'll get it out of the way and just kind of, you know, let it be. For the most part. It's mostly just, they exist, and I don't want them to exist, so I'm getting rid of them right now, and leaving it at that. Dalol! Want to reinforce Dalol again? No! Other things. Where is Ni... is it I? Yeah, Nitsipi. 
I claim that? Like, can I actually claim that? Alright, one year. We'll claim it. One year's time. Alright, we're 93 prestige. It's looking good, though. It's looking good. I think... What's this guy? Yeah, yearly prestige. Oh, alright, I need a... A dude. I need a dude bro over here. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Take... Naisha. Naisha. Oh god, I'd love to. No, thank you. Alright, so that's taken care of. We have an extra colonist. This one is better simply because it's it's, it's a thousand instead of five hundred. So base tax is point two, manpower by two, whereas this is five hundred, where it's base tax point one, manpower by one. So this is slightly better, ever so slightly better. We still have Australia, right? I actually okay. We're still working on Australia. I reloaded the game again. It kept Australia this time. Yeah, nothing happening there. 25 days. That's quite a while to have to wait. At least we'll have the score taken care of, so that's good. Boom! Aider's part of our ter matrimony. Brittany and Spain also want it, but they're just gonna have to live without it. If I say so. No special buildings? Alright. That's fine. I'd love to build more buildings, I would, but there's just not enough for me. Nice. Start working on the offensive. Wait, right? Should we? Yeah. Start working the offensive ideas. Land leader shock, plus one. Ah, my dude's back. Full annex. Whoop, hit the mic there, sorry. Don't know how that came through. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm thinking of moving my trade port and my capital up to Tangiers. So that I can maximize my trade in the Sevilla trade node. And transfer trade power from Safi into uh, the Sevilla trade node. Oh, Australia, whatever. Australia's fine. But yeah, it's a, basically, I would have more trade power in Sevilla. I wouldn't... Because if you look at Sevilla, my trade power is boosted by a lot of things. And then, collect from trade not in your main trade port. Minus 84%. Minus 84! Good God! Now, whereas here, I have a positive 97. That trade power is boosted, like, crazy boosted. Now, I want to move my trade port and my capital over there so that... Eh, hate that cost. Uh, so that I can actually make some progress. The problem is, if I move my capital over here, do these suddenly become distant overseas? Because they're really close to my capital, so they're not distant overseas. And I don't want to lose those. I lost my admin, dude. Stability cost modifier or national unrest, actually. How much gold are we making? 83. Let's grab the national unrest. I like that one. Give me that national unrest. Make everybody happy. Especially over here. Still making lots of money. Still have lots of money. I could build more boats. Could totally build more boats. I don't think I should, but I could. At least this way I have a substantial amount of trade power around here. Wow, all that money going straight to Safi. My goodness. 
Oh man, one of my merchants should definitely come over here to Katsina. I guess it's already all being pushed to Timbuktu. But I could push more to Timbuktu. Alexandria. Push it to Tunis, maybe? No, it's not going to Tunis. Alright. That's alright. At least they're not westernizing off of me. But I need to fabricate on Funge if I want to get anywhere with them. Where are we on Diplotech? We're getting close. It takes 409 to get more Diplotech up and running. That's one that we want for sure. I would love trade range. I'd love all these trade ideas. But we need to get our Diplotech up to keep all these people pacified. Yeesh. Upgrading my military would have a very similar effect, I suppose, but it's it's just not the same, you know? How you looking, Pomerania? Oh, they like me. Friendly, plus 10. Great. Still need to boost our diplomatic reputation, which will be up in 1735. It'll recover from the annexation of Louisiana. So, after that, we'll see. But, right now we are at 0.7. Overextension a little bit, but that's being dealt with. Legitimacy, trading in ivory, or dude. Truce expired with no guy. That's good. Rakna. We could actually attack no guy in Bhutan and all that again. The only problem is we can't really do anything to Bhutan. I also need a diplomat, but Eora. Wonderful. We have Eora. Go ahead and pick up Wurunjeri. Wooden Jetty. Four base tax. One of the higher base taxes with some of the least aggression in the area. May or may not work out for us, but we'll give it a shot. Well, we can at least try. One more to do over here with Barcelos. West West Brazil likes me. 18% liberty desire. Wonderful. Come on home. I need you to go to West East Abda next. Make them like me a little bit more. These guys, please. Well, it'll be another month before you can, but still, the point stands. It needs to be done. We need to make him happy. So, two, one, boom. Improve relations. All right. Uh Yeah, reverse course. Fine. Reverse course. It adds an additional 1%, but it doesn't seem to speed it up by all that much. Still says a whole bunch of 12s. It might make a big difference on, like, these, yeah. But maybe not. Not the Animist one so much. How's our religion looking? It's kind of torn. Kind of a torn nation. Fortify Aider. Sounds good to me. Is that over here? That's this one. Good stuff. Alright. Aider. Fortified. I'll give us some more manpower. Gotta lack that manpower. What's, uh, is that Pima? Or, taking that out? Whoop. Where's that? Aha! Seven base stacks. Go for that one. And you're welcome, West East Abda, for your new inland center of trade and 20 trade power in the area. I'm sure you will greatly appreciate having that. Yeah. Almost 40 trade power. From this one's madness? Yep. Wow, I added 40 trade power for them in that node. That's awesome. Whoa! We must help. That hurts, because we were this close!
close to getting the tech. And it's like, hold the phone. Whoa. Ah. Really? Uh, okay, where's my fleet? They're over here. Alright. Well, we're gonna take all 45,000 of you. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna kill the rebels, because they're stupid. We're gonna have a nice shiny leader to go with you. Looks like you're gonna need to land directly on top of them. It'll be expensive, but... That's about the only way we can manage to get there in time. What we're gonna do. And also, who's doing that? Chile? What the frick? Why are you way over here, Chile? Moonster Yamana Makuria. Who are you fighting? Why? Frickin' A, Chile. Get out of here. Africa's mine. If you get on Africa, I will kill you. I will declare war and just take your ass over. Although, actually, I don't care too much about this area. If I'm honest, I actually don't care too much about this area. I'm trying to take this area. Which means, of course, beating down the West Indies and their ally to Chile and Mexico, so... But I could fight them indirectly by declaring on Canada, but I think Canada is also allied with Mexico and maybe Chile. Now, Lithuania! Well, that's easy. I'd happily fight Lithuania. Oh, God. Huh. Quiche. They've been reduced to only the New World. Now, can we actually... Can we fabricate on them? I don't think so. No, we cannot fabricate on them. How about you come down there? Bagel. Go wipe them out. Allied with us. Yes. Still waiting until 35. Copper in Saskatchewan. Really? They took it that fast? Bloody hell. We actually had space for one more. We have 46 transports. Eh, we'll take the prestige. Why not? Let's take the prestige. Alright. I don't really need the cash so much, but the prestige helps, because that just adds on trade power and morale and just makes everything better. So I don't see any reason why I shouldn't expand on it. Thirteen ab does need a little bit of improved relations, so we'll get over there and make them happier. West East Abda's all upset again. Gosh dang it. I'm sorry, I can't really lower the tariffs anymore. They're pretty low. Leave it be. Leave it be. At least getting that one little tech, that helps 5%. It takes 5% off, just getting that one little tech level. We still need 450 to get to the next level. But that's okay, we'll get there. Turn Barcelos into a city. Sounds good. I don't even know where it is, but it sounds like a good time. So we'll do that. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yay! Jin is now part of our territory. Our patrimony at long last. Alright, take these guys. Back home, please. Go to Gabu. I can almost hold all of it in Gabu. That's pretty good. What are you at? Unrest, negative nine. Ah, it's pretty good. I like it. Unrest, negative six. We could actually convert Jane and the Abadi. If we wish. Reactionaries in Brittany. Heh, heh, heh. Oh, uh, you're funny, Brittany. Funny. That's okay, you can westernize off of me, I don't care. I don't mind. It does not bother me so much. Well, 
Normandy, occupied by Champagne. Lithuania is occupied by Jolhor. Alright, well, again, like, this chunk right here is basically one giant alliance. Skav, Pima, Jolhor, and Elodia, all one big alliance, so... The fact that I was able to sneak in either one of these... Pretty nice. Pretty handy. Go ahead and start improving relations with Nepal again. They're a little bit upset. A little uppity. Really? You took one army. How do you even do that when I... I think that was my fault. I think I, I pressed A, assuming it would take both, and it only took one. So that was legitimately my fault. I did not tell the AI to do that. I did that, so. Luckily, it wasn't a big deal. It did not need to be a big deal. Go to Galam. I want to get really close to Tagant. I want to get there very soon. Very, very soon. Frickin' Canada, though. Oh. Mexico stopped colonizing over here. So where'd they go? In here, maybe? No idea. 80 per year. Well, here's open. If the colony gets attacked at this point, it will survive, but not with much. What is that? That's all Canada over there? Jeez. They want their little Australia, I see. Well, luckily, we have Abd Australia, so we'll be fine. Do just fine with Abd Australia. What is that? Occupied by Colombia. Alright then. Bago! Why don't we send our missionary over here? Take 45 months. But it won't actually cause any unrest, because we have our nice big army sitting over there. Considering we don't really want to go to war right now, we kind of need to recoup our monarch points. Not our manpower. Our manpower is fine. We just need monarch points. We want to make Pomerania happy. It's going to take a little bit of time. That's all right. Ablaska's. Oi, Ablaska. Alright. Australia. We need to finish them up. And we're getting close. We're getting very close to finishing them up. And then the West Indies, obviously, I would love to work on, but that's not quite as easy. 27. Give me the ducats. Thanks. We have 10,000 ducats. Not that we actually need them, but we have them. It's of the utmost importance. I'll go discipline. I like discipline. I also like plus two points, so. Sitting at 68 cash. And that's with our armies at max. We don't actually have to have them at max. We have plenty of time. Go to Gabu. Why don't we set him down to there? I have 88 suddenly. Oh, we're so close. Recruitment time minus 10%. Boom. Done. To think, right now we could have constitutional ideas as well. 26 military, we could have 26 admin, potentially. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. I I don't care about Navy tradition, if I'm honest. I don't. Doesn't make a lick of difference to me. Nepal, we have royal ties with Ferrara. We should have royal ties as well. Yep. Albania, royal ties. Alright. Good progress. The local manpower modifier plus 20%. Now 
Manpower increase plus 25. Oh, wow, we could do that. Yeah, quite a few places. That's right. We built a whole bunch of these training fields last time. That's what we were working on. How about a palace? I like a palace. Palaces are good. Great news! We have dice and... Dice, not dice. Wait, well, we're producing dice. Yes. See, that's all admin. That's... Admin, adds, Diplo, 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 Military, mili that's also Admin. Okay, Weapons Manufactory. That'll use some cash. That'll use some cash, alright. We have some Weapons Manufactories, and apparently some already built down here by the previous owners, probably Lithuania or something. I don't know. Not that we, again, we don't need all this extra cash, but I also don't really need to expand my army or navy. I guess I should expand my army, if I'm honest. Need to make sure people stay nice and peaceful towards me. So we'll build, we'll train 40,000 soldiers, build two regiments. And that'll that'll help keep the peace. It'll it's expensive. It'll be very expensive, but it'll help keep the peace, I'm sure. And inflation's on the rise. We're fine. Okay. Theophanus Mzabi needs to survive for two more years because on the third of June, 1735. So in July of 1735, our diplomatic reputation will recover by three. On top of already having a diplomatic reputation of positive one. We'll have a positive four. Yes, we'll have a positive four total diplomatic reputation. Which, you double that, it'll be eight. Which, I don't think that's actually going to be enough to get Pomerania. But, it is close. Okay, let's grab this before anyone else decides to jump in there. Let's grab that. I'd love to keep working up in here, but I grabbed the best of the three that were remaining, so. 1.2. That's good manpower over in Canada. But if we grab Lenape, then we have the entire interior to ourselves, so. Nothing wrong with that. Don't forget, we actually do need to get, you know, something over here. A little bit of something. Either over here, maybe over here. Yeah, I'm liking this one. I guess I can go to here, but again, that's... I'm liking this one. I think we'll do that one, and that'll help Louisiab to just kind of annex what's left. Are you actually bordering? Yeah, you do. You do border. Okay. Kill them. Don't worry about me. You guys just go kill Palatan. Ben yourselves against the natives. They are coming for you. I should send you over here to Lenape. Just to be safe. May or may not make a difference, but get over there anyways. Leave it be. No taxes. Hey, look, we have two more full regiments right here. 20 and 20. Look at that. Cost, actually quite a bit. It actually increased our cost substantially. But that's okay. We have, we have cash. We're good on cash. We had that brief moment where we didn't have cash, and that was just very confusing. It was like, how do I not have any money? And then we resolved that problem. So, worked out nicely. Now, in the future, if, for example, all my colonies manage to actually break away from me, it would be pretty, re like, pretty hideous for what would happen after that. Because it's pretty clear that Alaska, pretty weak. California, duh, not all that strain, not all that strong. The real power is in the 13 Abdas. And then you have Canabda and Louisiabda, which are about the same. 
So this would all just get annexed. Except for Me between Mexico and the 13 Abdas. All this stuff up here just like split into two freaking countries. Including Alaska and Quiche in Canada. All of it. Just two countries. 13 Abdas and Mexico. Down here. Pia Bruto would no longer have the protection of Chile. In Chile, I could see eating this entire South American robin, the, the continent, just by itself, no question. Or Mexico. Again, I could see Mexico and Chile getting absolutely massive if I didn't control... If I was not the backing between all, for all these colonies, if I was not their buffer. It would be a little ugly. Yay! We got it! Is that enough for Australia? Doesn't look like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is number ten, right here. This is number ten. Of course, that, this episode is not number ten, but it is over. So as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time with some more EU4. DFTBA.